right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, I wanted to talk about non-fungible tokens. So this is something I'm incredibly excited for with the anticipation of the Merry Hard Fork Combinator event happening in just a couple weeks. Big news from Charles Hoskinson giving us some tentative dates, saying that the Hard Fork Combinator event will take place on the 1st of March. The Hard Fork Combinator event will clear quality assurance and developer checks on the 24th of February. That's when they will initiate the Hard Fork Combinator event, which will take place on the 1st of March. So very exciting. Essentially what this will do is bring about native tokens to be created on the Cardano blockchain. This is going to take us one step closer towards a full Gogan release. Now, despite the fact that we don't yet have smart contracts, it's still leading up to that point. But we are still able to do things that are really cool, such as NFTs. A lot of interest, especially around NFTs because of this event. So just giving you some information and an overview of what exactly is a non-fungible token. So in this guide, this is from Cointelegraph. I'm not the biggest fan of Cointelegraph, but I think that they did an incredible job with the visuals in this digital magazine. So if you're interested in checking this out, definitely be sure to check out the link down in the description below. Essentially, to understand what is an NFT, I like to talk about the difference between fungible and non-fungible. The example given in this article here in order to describe what is fungibility. So they described it in that the ADA in your wallet, like let's use ADA for this example, the ADA in your wallet is going to be the equivalent value to the ADA in my wallet. So if I were to go to a grocery store, the dollar bill in my pocket is gonna have the same amount of purchasing power and the same value as the dollar in your pocket. So it's fungibility, right? So if you have a dollar, it's gonna be worth the same as the dollar in my pocket. It's just an easy way to think about it. Now, how is that different from something that's non-fungible? Well, they give us a few examples here in this article saying that some of the characteristics include that they are unique. So if you have a non-fungible token, essentially there is a way to differentiate from any other type of token. So metadata is a perfect example. Right now we do see metadata on the Cardano blockchain. Say if you were to integrate metadata into one of these non-fungible tokens, that metadata could be specific to that token, making it completely unique from any other token on the blockchain. Another is going to be that they are rare. A perfect example I like to think about is, so there's ever only going to be 21 million Bitcoins created. So it's a very scarce and finite supply. So the same thing could be applied to NFTs. There could be a finite supply. There could be a limited amount that'll ever be created, thus causing them to be very scarce. And another is that they're indivisible. So as far as the example presented, they described it in that if you were to have a tokenized plane ticket, so say you have a plane ticket that's tokenized on the Cardano blockchain, you couldn't necessarily have a fraction of a plane ticket if you were to go to use it in the real world. You'd have to have that specific token, that entire piece of the pie. So it's indivisible in that sense. So NFTs are really cool. I think they're going to be a big thing as we move forward and NFTs and other types of tokens are being created on the Cardano blockchain. Right now, NFTs are already a big thing on Ethereum. Lots of people who are interested in digital collectibles and artwork are already getting into it. But seeing that they are now available and soon we'll see are minted on the Cardano blockchain going to bring even more value to the entire network. So now, why are NFTs exciting? Well, if you think about what we're talking about in terms of blockchain, being able to have a digital, immutable, permissionless ledger that allows us to transfer value, that's going to bring about a whole new paradigm shift to the way we think about investing. You could tokenize things like real estate. You can tokenize things like shares in a company. It's really mind blowing to think about. Artwork is just one specific use case and non-fungible tokens we see mostly are forms of artwork currently, but it's just a really cool concept to think that this is really going to change the way we view investing in the real world. So one really cool thing that they did here was they just laid out some use cases. So now artwork, of course, we see it's a big thing. I'm actually going to show you just a couple different places that are currently being used. One, it's actually being built specifically for Cardano. So really nice to see that. Another is going to be collectible. So going back to things like Ethereum and we saw with CryptoKitties. So that's a big one. Another would be gaming. So if you have in-game items, let's say if you're playing a game like Fortnite, 
What's to say that that specific item that you're using has any type of value if there are hundreds or thousands or, you know, if somebody could just enter in a cheat code, right? So to think about a non-fungible token, you can verify that there's only ever going to be a set supply and the item that you have is completely unique to you. Another would be virtual assets. So if you think about .eth domains, so things that are online that are rare and scarce, a platform that I like to think about is Decentraland, being able to have digital property, digital real estate in a virtual world. So pretty cool. Uh, real world assets as well. You know, we were talking about a uh, plane ticket. So you could have tokenized real estate as well, uh, tokenized gold, silver, stocks within a company. Uh, digital identity, of course, uh, we're talking about medical records, we're talking about education qualifications. So lots of cool things that are expected with non-fungible tokens. Um, I did also want to show you this here. So it's showing that the market for NFTs is just taking off like crazy. We can see some of these valuations. I mean, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars for some of these non-fungible tokens. It's just wild to even think about. And if we look at these industry statistics, we can see from 2017, it was merely just an idea. But the growth for the entire industry has just gone parabolic. And this is from last year in 2020 at the time of this article being published. So I'm sure that as we have more platforms accessible to people who do want to create non-fungible tokens, we will surely see a rise in the interest for things like this. Now, talking about some ways that you can get involved if you're interested in non-fungible tokens. So there's this really cool platform called rarible.com. Would recommend that you guys check this out. I will also be sure to leave this link down in the description below. Lots of cool ideas, artwork from different creatives. There are so many interesting concepts here. I mean, it can get pretty wild. So definitely check this out. One thing that I'm really looking forward to is this NFT trading card game. So if you're into Pokemon, if you're into trading card games, I think you're really going to enjoy this. Introducing Cryptomon. Next week, February 24th, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, initiate the Hard Fork Combinator event to upgrade Cardano to support native assets. We call this the Mary HFC event. What that means is now Cardano is going from a single asset system to a multi-asset system, and you, the community, get to issue your own tokens. I expect to see catalysts flooded with lots of crazy, cool, interesting token ideas. You know, maybe somebody wants to build a Pokemon NFT competitor. Definitely had the right idea there with a, a Pokemon trading card game on the Cardano blockchain. So it would be really cool to see this. I'm excited for the platform for Cryptomon. And if you're interested in building NFTs, there is a platform currently called cnft.io. So you can actually feature your artwork on this platform. Lots of cool names that we see here. I know Cardano Kids, I'm a big fan of them. They did a Garbage Pail Kids spinoff for NFTs on the Cardano blockchain. Really cool. We've also got Professor Cardano. I picked up an NFT from the professor as well. And Crypto Creatures. So lots of cool names that we see here. Uh, definitely be sure to check out cnft.io. This is going to be where you can purchase these digital tokens. All right, everyone. So just a bit about NFTs and some cool things that I'm looking forward to as we're moving forward to this Merry Hard Fork Combinator event happening on the 1st of March. And to top it off, to say thank you all for staying tuned till the very end, introducing our Kaizen Crypto NFTs.
All right, everyone. So that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found some value here today as we were talking about NFTs and native tokens being integrated onto the Cardano blockchain. Lots of exciting things to look forward to. So if you guys enjoyed this video here today, please be sure to drop a like for me. If you're interested in NFTs or if you have ideas for specific types of tokens, let me know down in the comments section. I would love to hear from you all. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.